Welcome back to Second Chance Garage. Back out here again, uh, working on the truck. Spent the last few days trying to clean up around here and organize a little bit better. Got another <clears throat> toolbox that was my dad's. So I got a little more room to keep stuff instead of scattered all over the place. Drives me nuts. Anyway, the a uh, couple videos ago, I was dismantling the firewall that I'd picked up and I've been contemplating on it after getting that piece taken off. There's a lot of it that's actually not that good a shape or much better than what I got on my cab. So I think I'm just gonna graft the two together, cut out what I can use and replace the bad parts on my cab.
All right, so I got the lid lip cut off all the way across. I got to go back through and I'll grind it down smooth. Get it all cleaned up. Whenever it uh, get it all smoothed out, then I'll go through and tack it all back together with the welder and Next part is to cut all these areas out here. Uh, probably just gonna end up having to use new metal because that same spot on my other cowl panel is rusted out. A uh, good thing about having that other panel cut out already is I can look at it and tell where the supports behind here are for these uh, mounting points for the bolts so hopefully I can between the cutoff wheel and my uh, air chisel I can get in between there and just take off the bad metal without getting into the uh, supports that's in behind it I got uh, in the middle of cutting this bad spot out I had to change my wheels and Realized uh, the record button wasn't on a while ago, I guess. So you didn't get to see all these cuts I just made. No big deal. I found uh, anytime you're replacing a spot, just cut out till you get to uh, past all the bad spots. I use straight lines because when you go to cut out the metal to put it back in it's a lot easier to cut straight lines than it is curves and and get it to match so that's why it looks like that kind of like uh, Frankenstein <laughs> spot right here in the corner I need to take out and uh, but I saved the support in behind it so that's good I'm gonna have to come through here and probably just cut this panel out here or in here right across there at the top of that channel and replace all that metal in there so just keep a uh, Cutting a little at a time until all the bad stuff is gone and see what we end up with. I'm gonna go back in with the grinder and clean that up real good. Probably gonna end up using an air chisel all, all along this to get that knocked loose. And then I'll just put new metal in everything that needs it. All right, I cut a little spot off the side of the cowl here. Peeled it back and I'm down to the spot welds. Just 
straighten out that flange. Cut me out a piece to uh, patch panel and weld it back in. One thing about when you get these cowls apart like this on the sides, you can get, get that all cleaned out in there and hopefully uh, keep it from uh, rusting any worse. I think before this all goes back together, all the inside surfaces I can get to, I'm gonna try and uh, put some of that Four fifteen rust stopper or whatever it's called on there, and, and uh, hopefully that'll keep it from getting any worse. All right, I'm gonna start cutting on this side over here. By far the worst, of course. Uh, you can see in behind here where the support is, and by having that other piece off the other cowl already, I can see that that support bracket just comes straight down right here so i should be able to cut around this all the way across to here and down to get all this bad metal out of it straight line down through there looking at that other cow piece this bracket here over here on this side comes in behind right here so I should be able to come straight down just barely cutting through that first layer of metal so I don't get into that brace get the masking tape and draw me a straight line across here so I ain't going like this all over the place all right I drew me a line across there I used this um, can't remember what these are called but you draw a circle I know that what I used it for I just laid one edge up here run it all the way across and made me a line so now I got a line to follow with my grinder so all this metal down here that's bad will be gone here in just a second <laughs> that all right got that cut across with the grinder I'm gonna go back and try and get this all this along here with the air chisel
it all cleaned up. Now that that's out, I can see this middle piece in here is actually rusted through also. So, since that other cowl's already apart, I'm gonna go look at it and see if I can use any of that metal on that piece also. All right, now I got uh, all that out. You can see here, I've still got some rust in there, which that's actually the panel that goes all the way up underneath there. Got some over here too. So I believe that's just going to have to be cut out from the inside and replaced. I'll probably just do all of it with a piece of metal the best I can. I don't want to cut up any more of this. It's really not in bad shape. Somebody could really patch this one back together if if they uh, needed to. I don't wanna cut all this apart just for what little bit I need. I'll just put new metal and in the location it is in, it'll never be seen. So uh, until part two.